Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can uh, get custom DLC on Rocks of 2014 for PC. So essentially what you want to do is you want to uh, hop on over to this website, customforge.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. So basically what you want to do is uh, you want to log in or create an account because uh, you need to create an account in order to surf this uh, website. So you're going to want to go over to the Use CDLC uh, tab. So they should explain everything here, but uh, I just decided to make a video on it. So essentially, you only need to buy one song for all CDLC to ever exist. Um, once you buy this one song, it gives you the, the ability to download every other custom DLC song for free. The reason you need to buy Sharebrock uh, is because it has a content ID that is shared with every other CDLC. So when you buy Sharebrock, you basically unlock the ability to get DLC. Uh, I don't know why it's Sharebrock, but it just is, that's just what it is. So uh, you, you can use this link to go and download it, or you can do it through Steam on your computer. And uh, once you do that, uh, this Google Drive link, which should also be down in the description, uh, what you want to do is you're going to want to download that and you're going to want to put that in your root folder. So the, the way you find your Rocksmith folder is you go to your Steam folder, wherever it is. So my Steam games are just like on this drive. You get Steam games, Steam apps, common, find rocks from 2014, and this is your root folder. So what you can do is you can download this uh, d3dx9 underscore 42.dll file. Uh, just place it in, in here. And then what you're going to want to do to download CDLC is a... Uh, you go over to Ignition for Search, right? And you wait for the, the website to load because sometimes it's slow. But essentially, you can uh, look for any custom DLC, and if they have it, you know, you hit hit download. Let's see, is there anything new today? There's some Megadeth. And then essentially what you do is you can just hit download. You know, you down you direct download this and then you're going to want to save it to this DLC folder. So as you can see I have a uh, a massive amount of uh, custom DLC. Uh yeah, so then when you load it in there, then you should just go to Rocksmith and you should just have a bunch of uh or you should see that custom DLC show up. If uh, if you have the game running and you add custom DLC to it while the game is running, uh, I find that if you go to shop, it's like this screen right here. Maybe sometimes if you click on this, it gets it to enumerate the DLC that you just added. And then usually it should pop, see it says enumerating. So that means it's like reading whatever's new. Uh, and then once, once that's done, then you should be able to find it somewhere in here. You can just search for it. And that's that. That's basically it. It's uh, not, not too complicated. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to write them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.